pretty exciting when your son uh, wins a big race like this. I know how much it meant to him. I know his uh, struggles over the last you know, year. He had some injuries. He had to battle through them. He's come out here. He's focused on this race. It's his primary race of the year. And it's just awesome to see it all come together for him. You're really proud as a parent. Jeff Simons joins us now, the first winner of the first Challenge Penticton Canada race. Congratulations and thanks for coming in. Thanks, yeah, it was an unreal day out there. It's a total dream come true to be uh, not only participating in this race, but uh, you know, to get the win is, is pretty surreal for me right now. I thank you for coming in. I meant coming back to the race because you were injured, you were at the hospital and you've come back to hand out medals. Yeah, no, I just, uh, you know, everybody out there works just as hard as I did, you know. Um, whether you're finishing, you know, first or if you're finishing, you know, at the end, you're still uh, putting out an unbelievable effort to cover the course. So everyone needs to, uh, I guess, feel appreciated. It's very important to me. So Now, let's go through your race day very quickly because uh, there is a lot going on out there. But the swim, you were out just behind Chris McCormick. How did that go for you, the swim? A little bit choppy. Yeah, it was choppy. It's hard to uh, to swim straight, and uh, Chris got out pretty quick. Um, he's got some good veteran moves, and uh, he had got me early on, and it wasn't until, um, I think, right as I caught up with him, and I actually accidentally tapped his foot, and uh, and as soon as I did that, he stood up, and we were at the end. So it was kind of nice to, uh, you know, for me to be chasing hard for 3.8 or 3.7K, and then, uh, you know, to have us come together, and uh, it was pretty cool. And then the ride went really well for you. Of course, you did crash, but I want to focus on what went really well for you. What were you thinking when you were out there? Were you were you were you in the zone thinking, okay, this is my ride? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I just really focused on, uh, you know, Kevin, my coach Kevin Kutcher. We put together a plan, and it just really focused on, you know, riding my pace, staying aerodynamic, and. Um, and just trying to be as efficient as I can around the course. So. And I want to bring your coach Kevin Kutcher in if you don't mind. And you stay right there if you could and we'll bring Kevin here. I want to talk about that part of the race where we got to the crash. You had said to me earlier that if he didn't crash, just imagine his finish time. So it's pretty impressive to finish in the time that he did, which I believe was 8.29, even though he crashed. Uh, yeah, Jeff and I talked about this brief briefly a moment ago and uh, when the swim time's 54, 55 minutes and you still go under uh, under 8.30 on this course, it's a phenomenal effort. If you have a look at some of the other guys who've broken 8.30 here, it's been uh, Peter Reed, Thomas Hellregal, Scott Tinley, Tom Evans, Jordan Rapp. These guys are like... Uh, been gone on to be world champions or multi-time Ironman champions. Jeff's done this on his uh, in his first season of uh, doing uh, Iron Distance Triathlon. Um, it's a regardless of the crash. Like if there was no crash, uh, it's an outstanding effort. We, you know, talk about this thing. You know, putting this day together and. Uh, it doesn't include a wipeout at 70 kilometers an hour, and uh, yet the end result was still there. It's phenomenal. So we haven't talked about the run yet. What happened going into the run for you? Uh, well, I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to run. I mean, my uh, my hips are hips, both of them are pretty sore, and um, getting my shoes on, I couldn't use this left hand, so getting my shoes on was a super painful experience. And I started running, uh, and the hip was sore, but I actually had pretty good energy and just and just kind of rolled it, and the hip loosened up a bit. I could still feel it every stride, but um, but yeah, I just did the best I could given the uh, unfortunate situation on the bike, so. Uh, it's unbelievable. It was, uh, I thought my dreams were coming, gonna come crashing down when I took a bit of a spill, but uh, man, I just got ugly out there, and uh, it's amazing. So it's, uh, it's just a dream come true for me, growing up in Vindictive since I was about four years old and watching the race, so. Um, yeah, it's just for everyone watching here right now. All the all the kids, adults alike, like anything, anything possible, right? Three big. What happened to you out there? What was it that caused the crash for you? Uh, I was just coming down from Yellow Lake. It's the part where you get up to like over 70k an hour, and uh, I kind of had my hands on the bars and kind of shook my legs out, and I think I've been working pretty hard, so I was a bit wobbly and just skidded out. So yeah, it was, it was pretty nasty. I thought my day was gonna be over, but. Just tough it up. What did you do? That's fantastic. What did you do to pull yourself back together and what were your thoughts? Uh, just thinking about some of my favorite movies and uh, I like that Rocky Balboa one and his, here it is, uh, 
And it's about how hard you can hit, it's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. This is good. I'm going to be hurting for a long time now. <laughs> how are you feeling? Cool. Awesome. On cloud nine right now. I'm hurting real bad. It's uh, My wounds are stinging, but I'm, I'm just ecstatic right now. So. Right, it's over. <laughs> and you know, and, and sometimes I think the best part about our sport is it's not necessarily about winning, it's about um, just kind of overcoming out there and figuring out, you know, when the going gets tough or when, um, you, you know, when your body's telling you to stop or that, you know, the devil on your shoulder's telling you, oh, no, just slow down or quit. And, uh, and how are you going to respond? Are you going to have the, you know, mental uh, toughness to get through it? And so I think you know, more so than just winning the race, it was, uh, it was just that feeling that I was able to overcome whatever this race was thrown at me today.